Welcome back, JV. So that was the call for Alaysha Prayer uh, back here in the studio with international relations expert Dr. Ahmed Safti. And before the call for prayer, before the event, I was asking him about Egypt's role uh, uh, when it comes to this situation in Gaza uh, at the moment and uh, the support of the just Palestinian cause with all the complications. But Egypt, again, is trying its best uh, d diplomatically, uh, in, in bilateral uh, diplomacy, multilateral diplomacy, trying to pressure uh, Israel as much as it can in mediation, uh, um, in humanitarian aid whenever it can. Being wise means reaching the target that you would like to reach and focusing on the target without any lo losses during reaching that target. Okay? Now, in Gaza, in the, in the huge, uh, it's not an Arab problem. It's not a, 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 a Middle East problem. Actually, the problem of Palestine is an international problem right now. The parties involved in this problem is not just the Israelis and the Palestinians. No, it's not like this at all. It's Israel, okay, from one side, which with its huge, very strong alliances, such as German, France, Britain, and the States. This is one side of this problem. And the other side is our fellows, our brothers, the Palestinians, who have a just cause. No one can deny this in the whole world right now. I mean, one of the most important things that happened, or, or that we, we benefited from this struggle, is that the whole world now knows that there is a just cause needs to be served. The cause of Palestine needs to be served not only from the Arab countries, but from the whole world. We have seen four or five different European countries confirming their, uh, their, their recognition, their, their recognition of, a, of uh, the Palestinian state. state. Yes. Okay? Yes. This did not happen in the last 50 or 60 and, and years. And global public opinion the global is, public is, is, is obvious. Everyone, I mean, yeah. the youth, mm, mm. who didn't know anything about this problem now, mm. even inside the Arab countries, mm. because mm. during the last 20 years, mm. We the Palestinian cause was forgotten, the really. It's the somehow case. forgotten. Yeah. No, one, no one told mm. the Yoss what happened mm. at mm. 1948. Mm. Okay? We know about this. We are mm. one of the generations that lived the problem. 48, 56, 67, That's, 73. This is, this is what we, this, this mm. we know. Mm. But my, my sons, mm. my grandsons, and so on, right. all what they have heard about this is very trifle issues. Mm. Okay? This conflict actually have educated the whole coming generation. Yeah. With the just co with just us, with the, with the just uh, case mm -hmm. of Palestine, okay. So in so, Egypt, so this, this is where Israel lost. This is exactly the, the mm -hmm. huge losses that Israel mm -hmm. is having right mm -hmm. now. Is in that part, mm -hmm. not now. It's, they are not paying for this now. They will mm -hmm. pay for this ten or fifteen years from now. Mm -hmm. Those who who we are seeing in the American universes or the European universes. They saw the crimes they, against humanity. They, they are they, they the future it. leaders of mm. the world. Mm. They are mm. the future leaders of the world. Right. When they are in place, they mm. know quite well what should be done, what should not be done, and so mm. on. Now, going back again to the Egyptian rule, this is the most important part. Mm. Egypt rule was very wise. We are not going to go into a conflict where we are going to lose or we are going to have any harm for the Egyptian people themselves. For the last 10 years, we have been rebuilding this country again. This is true. The huge volume of, 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 of construction and of, of uh, development that Egypt has in the last year, mm. we didn't have it for 30 or 40 years before that. Okay? Mm. So in, to go into any sort of conflict that might cost you this development is not going to be wise. On the other hand, we cannot let the coast, but we can stand on a very firm position no displacement for the Palestinians. This is not going to happen. It's their land. They will live in their land. Okay? And this is the Palestinians' choice as well. It's, uh, well, it's not just the Egypt's choice or Jordan's choice. Whether, it's the Palestinians' choice. Whether it's their choice, mm. it is their choice. But again, I'm saying, mm. even if they don't choose this, mm. we don't have the alternative or the luxury mm. of approving any other thing. That, that okay? uh, might sacrifice or liquidate any uh, part of the just cause. This is the idea. It mm. might even eliminate it. It might mm. finish it from the, very, from the very roots of it. Mm. Okay? Mm. So this was the first position that we had, along with Jordan and the whole Arab world as well. And the U.S. was convinced of, of that, well, seemingly, not at least. In the, of, not in the beginning. Mm. In the beginning, mm. they tried to take the Israeli part. I mean, mm. like every conflict that happens, mm. the West looks to their own 
part. It looks to their own vision that works for their own benefit, okay, regardless of the other sides. But it's you. It's up to you to stand to you to, to take you to take us as, as a fixed position, a right position, and to defend it. Okay. The firmness of this position moved the West into approving it. Okay. I mean, if we were, if 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 President His Excellency President Sisi were a little bit lean in his position, he would have faced pressures. But because he was very firm from the first minute, not only Egypt, but Jordan as well. We have the same position, and we are going to stand firm into it. They had to be lean on that side, okay? And they approved the position, and that's done. Right. Now, another position that we have taken, no one, we will not deal with Israel as if it owns Gaza, okay? I mean, we are talking about uh, uh, the, the, the AIDS moving through Rafah. They say Egypt stopped the AIDS. We did not stop the AIDS. We said we deal with the Palestinian authorities on that side of the border. It's not Israeli borders, it's Palestinian borders. So we deal with the Palestinian authorities. If the Palestinian authorities is not there, then we are not going to deal with anyone else because this land owns to, is owned to the Palestinians. Okay? Right. So if we are proved by any means, any kind of movement through mm. the borders mm. with the Israel on the other side, that mm. means that we mm. are going to, we, we like, it, it looks like we approve mm. having them on that side. Mm. That's not going uh, to happen. Uh, Asia's position, I mean, it's very clear that it rejects any Israeli presence at the Rafah crossing at, point at, between Egypt and Gaza. At Gaza, at all of Gaza area, mm. at all of the, the, mm. the, the, the area of Gaza, all of it, Israel and it, it No existed. occupation of Gaza. No occupation of Gaza. Okay, this is one thing. We are moving forward, not backward. We are not going to go backward again like uh, uh, 15 or 20 years ago mm. and we are, trying, we are going mm. to face the same thing. Mm. This is, that's why the American position has changed. If we are talking about now the best alliance for Israel. President Biden, when he showed three days ago on the TV, on national TV and on, in the States, saying that this was the choice of Israel. This is like he is saying to the whole world, this was approved by Israel before, okay? So they have to stick into it. They have to take, they have to leave Gaza, the whole district, okay? And they have to be handed it back again to the Palestinian authorities, regardless who is going to judge it. I mean, yes, it's even for the best of the Palestinians, not to have Hamas there as diplomatic. There is always a difference between the ruling party and the opposition, okay? It's good to have opposition by any mean, whether it's Hamas or someone else. This is good for the cause itself, okay? But it's not good if the opposition takes the rule of the ruling party. That puts the whole country into certain kind of struggle that we are living right now. Anyway, those fixed, these, those firm positions that the Egyptian diplomacy, with His Excellency President Sisi on the top of it, okay, was the reason why now we are talking about solutions, okay? And hopefully, hopefully it will be soon. I mean, we've been waiting for that truce, for the, for the ceasefire, uh, for the mediation talks to succeed, for the exchange of hostages and, and, and prisoners. Uh, there is another and, and may, maybe these days, maybe we are getting closer. There is another, another position mm. that's not, it's not it's, mm. we are not seeing it right now, but it will mm. show very soon, mm. okay? Mm. Gaza is not going to be rebuilt on the same position that we had before, okay? We, because Gaza now is going, is going to have a huge investment. From the, it, has, it has to have its own Marshall Plan mm. to rebuild Gaza again, mm. okay? But this is going to show afterwards. When we reach to the peace area, we are going to have another position. Gaza is not going to be rebuilt again, to be ruined again. That is not going to happen. If we're going to rebuild Gaza, no problem. We'll support it. The Arab countries, the Western countries, because right now, mm. not only the Arab countries, it's not the problem with the Arab countries anymore. This is a world problem right now. Rebuilding Gaza is a world problem. Gaza will be rebuilt even much better than what it was before. But it won't happen unless there is a final solution for the two states. Right. Okay? Right. And very hopefully that's going to happen Very important point there. Dr. Safti, dear viewers, allow us to watch another report yes. uh, on our main topic for tonight. Egypt's pivotal role uh, uh, in the region as the, the main pillar of stability, really, uh, uh, in uh, its uh, region and Egypt's influence uh, globally uh, uh, on the diplomatic scene.
What enables Egypt to keep promoting its foreign relations is its steadfast insistence on the principles of mutual respect and equality in all its foreign dealings and its staunch opposition to outside meddling in other countries' domestic affairs and attempts to infringe on their sovereignty and independence. Traditional relations such as those with African and Arab countries are maintained primarily through interaction within regional organizations such as the African Union and the Arab League. Bilateral relations with Arab and African countries are also promoted through continuous consultations, widening the scope of cooperation in various fields and exchanging expertise in the different areas of development. Egypt has played and still plays a leading role in supporting Arab policies for most among which are those concerning issues such as the Arab-Israeli conflict, Iraq and Sudan. Egypt's foreign policy is also committed to boosting the state's strategic relations such as those with the U.S., Europe, Asia and the Far East which help Egypt in its sustainable development efforts and promotes its role in the international arena as well as serving its strategic regional objectives. On a bilateral level, Egypt has active relations with most European countries, including those of the Mediterranean. Egypt is also a strong advocate of peace and stability in the regional environment, toward which end it promotes spirits of cooperation, the adherence to the principles of international law, the commitment to international treaties, and covenants and support for UN organizations and international cooperation and mutual support. Thank you again, Abir Hussain and uh, Rasha Abdul Hamid. I'm back here in the studio with uh, Dr. Ahmed Al Safti, international relations uh, expert and uh, a university lecturer. Uh, Dr. Al Safti, there are a lot of uh, conflicts now in, in our region. It's not just um, Gaza or, or, or the just Palestinian cause. I mean, you name it. I mean, Sudan, Libya, it's, it's not stable yet. Uh, Syria. Syria. Iraq. So, I mean, it's a very difficult time, really. It is. So, where uh, and, 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 and how do you see the, the administration of Egypt's foreign policy in these issues and other uh, issues uh, um, nowadays? Okay. It's not always good to take a position in a conflict. Some kind of conflict. I forgot to mention Yemen. Sorry. Yemen yeah. as well. Yeah. Some conflicts. It's, it's wise to be away from it. Now, let's take Yemen for an example. With all the respect to the KSA okay, and to their choices, they choose, they choose to be involved in Yemen. Militarily. Thinking mm. that it's going to take six or eight months to, mm. stabilize, to stabilize the position. Mm. It has been now almost four years mm. without any stabilization. Mm. Coasts all around it, internally and externally. Okay? It's a very expensive conflict. Mm -hmm. Emirates had the same position. Okay? Egypt chose not to go into any kind of military struggle in that area. Okay? And these we are two our, of our main allies. We have, yeah. we have mm -hmm. learned mm -hmm. the lesson mm -hmm. in a very expensive way. Mm -hmm. We have been involved there before. Uh, okay? The 50s? Uh, in the 60s. 60s. Okay? Mm -hmm. And during when, when some people say that the Egyptian army lost a war or conflict 1967 that was not the egyptian army that was almost one fourth of the egyptian army because three fourths of this egyptian army were involved in yemen this is the idea mm. okay mm. so we have learned our lesson in the hard way mm. and it was our it was the wise position again mm. Mm. from his excellency president sisi in front of being our major alliance mm. and they were not they were angry about it actually they were I mean, this caused some sort of disturbance in the relation. Mm. But again, we said we, start, we are friends, we are alliance, we are with you in everything, but we are not going to get to interfere in a, in a military conflict, which is an internal uh, affair for a country. Okay. On the same road comes our uh, role in Libya, mm. and comes our role in Sudan. It's like having brothers having some sort of a fight between each other. When you are going to interfere, what you need to do is to talk to both of them, trying to tell them that what you are doing is not right. 
Don't take one side, because if you take one side, you are an enemy for the other one. And that's not going to, that's not going to lead to any sort of solution. Okay? In Libya, for example, we were very neutral at the beginning. But when we have seen Turkey going in, 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 in extremely in alliance with one part, President, His Excellency President Sisi showed, and he, he, he by somehow said that this is a red line. Okay, no one should cross this red line. Why? Because he wanted this neutral position to keep going on. We are not going to allow any other country to occupy Libya under any other circumstances. This is what's what was going to happen. And yet, even with Turkey, we have mended the relations. We will become friends well, again. And. And this is how big this Egypt is. is. I mean, uh, this I mean is really, we are friends with everybody. This, yes. Yes. this is really what you ha This mm. is the kind of harvest you get mm. when you take the right position. Mm. Even those who are saying that you didn't do right, you should, do, you mm. should have done this and that, mm. later on, mm. it might take a little bit of time from them, mm. but they'll find, they find out that you were right and you took the right position. And that's what happened again with Saudi Arabia and Emirates. Okay? Now they know that this was the right thing to do at that time. Okay, Turkey knows this now, that this was the right thing to do at that time. Okay. Mm. The same problem we are having in Sudan right now. Mm. Okay. We are not taking sides, simply because if you take one side, you are the enemy of the other side. What you should do is try to use your force, your international relations, to stop any other alliances from trying to influence the conflict. Okay. So what Egypt is trying to do now, for every conflict around it, I mean, when it comes to Syria, well, we are having our own talks with the Turkish party, we are having our own talks with the American party and with the Russian party. How to solve the problem of Syria, because, because who is or are involved in Syria now is Turkey, A lot of sides, Russia, really. United mm. States. Too many sides. Too many sides, okay. Mm. Now when it comes to Iran. Libya, Iran as well, definitely. When it comes to Libya, we are talking to the French people, to the Italians and to the Europeans about the right position we should have in Libya and so on. This is the wise thing to do. If you take side, you are aiming for the other side. And this is not what Egypt is going to do, because what, what is really fair does not show. So, so, so this is an example now, and, 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 and you are um, a lecturer, I mean, you are an academician, so do you teach that in your uh, lectures, that being passive sometimes can be positive? So actually you're saying that Egypt's, entre parenthèses, passive position is actually, in many cases, a positive it's position. Right. That's right. Now, mm. going back, the struggle between Ukraine and Russia, okay, what, what was the position of Egypt? The right thing is, the right position to take is, Ukraine is a country. We should respect its independence, okay? We are not enemies of Russia, but we respect the independence of Ukraine. This was the position of Egypt, okay? We didn't take, I mean, we took a side in here, because it's, it's very clear, this is two different countries going into struggle. We see it in spite of the fact that Russia is one of our main alliances, one of the major alliances, and it plays a huge role in the stability of the international relations and so on. But what was right to do is to say Ukraine is an independent country and it should not be occupied by any means. We stated it. Whether Russia is going to be angry about it or not, this is the right position to take, okay? Because it's a clear issue. If the issue is not clear, it should always be passive. Because mm. if you acted, mm. you don't know whether you are right or not. Mm. Okay? So being passive here, because the issues of Syria, the issues of Libya, Sudan, Yemen, mm. and Iraq, mm. there is no right and, and yet no that wrong. doesn't prevent you from playing part in multilateral diplomacy, which e Egypt always does. We talk to everyone. Diplomacy. We talk to everyone. We mm. talk to, to all, all parties who are involved in this mm. conflict. Mm. We need to stop the conflict. Mm. The war so bilateral uh, and multilateral. This yeah. is the idea. Mm. And we are not completely passive. Mm. No, no, we are yeah. active, mm. but active by talking to everyone, mm. not, to once, not taking sides. Okay? Mm. Mm. That we are trying to explain one thing. Mm. The war will not lead to anything but more destruction for your own selves. I mean, who is winning who? I mean, if, if, if we are talking about any of those issues, if we talk about any of those countries, who is going to win who? Okay? Is it Sudanese going to, to win Sudanese? Or Libyans going to win? This is it, it, it's crazy thing. Okay? So what we do is we talk to everyone. You have to understand. In, in the problem in Sudan, we are, uh, we, are, uh, we are gathered with some African countries trying to play a huge role in that part. Okay? Anyway, this is not being passive. 
this is being positive mm -hmm. and taking action, but to the right side, mm -hmm. through talking to everyone, not taking sides. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is the idea. Uh, absolutely, and, and that's why I said, you know, between brackets or entre parenthèses. Yes. So it's uh, no clear position or firm position, but as you mentioned, talking to all sides and playing a role in multilateral diplomacy, and really because the goal in the end is peace and prosperity for our uh, this neighbors. This is the idea. Yeah. Surely, uh, Dr. Uh, Softy, that this type of balance and tranquility when it comes to administering uh, 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 our diplomacy leads to economic uh, benefits because this means that a trade flows and investment flows uh, uh, are available with almost every uh, uh, country in the world. So tell us about that, uh, that effect. Well, we have to, to, when we talk about this, we have to mention different parts. International investment now is not related to countries, it's related to business people. Yeah. Okay? Business people does not move their investments into any place where there is no stability. Okay? Any problem in any of those countries led to the international investment in those countries to vanish, to run away. Okay? Now they are looking to you through four or five different years. You are in the middle of all of those conflicts, mm. yet mm. you're stable, you're very... You are you're always in. taking the right mm. decisions. Mm. You are always keeping your mm. country stable. Mm. So why shouldn't we move inside? Why don't we come with our investments mm. and try to invest in this very stable country? Mm -hmm. Okay? That's what's happening right now. Yeah. More, almost, whether it's uh, our alliances in the Arab world or the business people in Europe and the States, all of them, they realize now that if we are going to talk about investment, the best investment we can have in stable countries. Okay? Stable countries, it means the Gulf area and Egypt. And I have as well to put, uh, uh, how can I say it, it's like applause to the Gulf countries as well. They are, they have their own stable foreign policy for a very long period as well. And this is being very wise because this is where Egypt truth really comes. You are like a role model. If you are going to stabilize things, if you are going to talk in a calm way, if you are going to be wise about taking your decisions, everyone will follow the same route that you are doing. Mm. This is the same thing. Mm. When we were talking about war before, they were, they were behind us. Okay? When Abdel Nasser was there, when President Abdel Nasser was there, they were behind us. When President Sadat came and talked about peace, at the beginning they did not understand it, and now they are following. Currently, the calm and wise positions Egypt is taking is leading all of those countries to understand and take the same position. This is one of the very important part that not that even the Egyptians does not realize now, but Europe and the West they mm. realize this. Mm. If the whole position is still stable in spite of all mm. of the challenges at those stable countries, mm. it's because that the leading country in that region is stable. And it's taking the right decision. Indeed. And, and Egypt is a seeker for peace and stability and tranquility for and everyone. prosperity for everyone, not for just everyone. for itself. Not for just everyone. For its neighbors and, and, and for and when we are That's talking, the legacy of Egypt. And Egypt's when we are talking to diplomacy. Ethiopia, for example, we are not the enemies of the Ethiopian people or the Ethiopian state. No, 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 it, it, at, at all. Let them enjoy their dam. Let them have electricity. But as well, we have to keep our benefits as well, because water has to keep fl flowing. This is the idea. Mm. We are going to face a problem. If they stop flowing, mm. this is when we are, going to, we, we, we are going to be pushed to have mm. a, 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 a little bit, uh, how can I say it? We are going to be pushed to have some sort of a struggle with Ethiopia. But um, um, as long as the water is flowing, as long as we have the same quota of water that we are having, mm. we, don't have, we don't really have a huge mm. problem. Mm. Okay? And I don't think at any time they will stop this. Because it's wise even for them to keep this water floating uh, for the time, I mean, forever. I hope they understand that. <laughs> yeah, well, because, the, dam, yeah. the dam has a maximum capacity. Yeah. It cannot go further. Yeah. It can, can go and it's, that also, it's also wiser for Israel to stop what it's doing, to That's stop right. the, and they will this stop aggression. It. They will stop it. Inshallah. Thank you very much, Dr. Thank Ahmed Asaf, the um, international relations expert, a uh, lecturer in, in uh, universities in Egypt, France, uh, and Malaysia. Thank you very much. Thank it's you. It's been a, a pleasure. It's my pleasure to be with you. Thank you, dear viewers, for watching the Daily Debate. Please stay with my TV.